South Korea has pledged to be carbon neutral by 2050. Whether that goal is feasible, some have questioned. But if it is, South Korea is certainly at the forefront of the technologies it'll take to do it. Kim Myung-sung reports. Technology will make it easier for South Korea to inch closer to its carbon goals. The country for now has pledged to cut carbon emissions by 40 percent by 2030 and by 2050 zero emissions. But which technologies will be key? Korea Institute of Science and Technology Evaluation and Planning has listed its top 10. Emerging technologies are ones that can revolutionize society within the next 10 years. Because South Korea has a carbon goal by 2030, we have selected the top 10 technologies that can help the country get there. The first technology is carbon capture and utilization. This captures carbon and changes it into fuel. This technology is essential for the country's carbon goals. Bringing down carbon emissions in raw material production and steel making is also important in the next 10 years. Bio-based technologies and a new and improved steel making process will cut down unnecessary greenhouse gas emissions. Ammonia could also help cut emissions. Ammonia doesn't emit carbon when it burns, which is why it's emerging as a new alternative fuel. Upscaling the solar cell system, the electric grid, and the offshore wind power system will all help the country reach its goal. But perfecting some of these technologies may take longer than hoped. Solar cells and carbon capture and storage technologies can be developed quickly, especially with the government fully on board. But with wind power, rare elements and ammonia, South Korea doesn't have the source technology as of now, so those will take longer to develop. Although there seems to be some disagreement about the country's carbon goals and whether they are too ambitious, there seems to be little divide over the fact that whatever the country is aiming for, technology will help it get there faster. Kim Hyun-sung, Arirang News.